offensive line, defensive line, defensive ends today, again, like we talked about, back squat, all right? Just making sure we're getting used to it starting for next week. Uh, approaching the football strength program, what I like to try to do is uh, make sure I'm doing things that they're going to need uh, that's going to help them on the football field. I don't want to do too many things that's junk lifting, that's outside of the ordinary. Uh, I want to make sure things that we're doing in here are carrying over to the field. Um, so it's, it's a lot different than bodybuilding. Um, it's an incorporation of a little power lifting, some Olymp Olympic lifting, and making sure that whatever it is that we're doing in here is going to help these guys be successful on the football field. Don't lock those knees out, Freddie. Back in line, back in line. Pass them off, pass them off to Jerron. Put them back at the top, good. Let's go, Velt. Well, right now during fall camp, the guys are going through basically a maintenance program. It's kind of the bridge between what we've done in the summer and what we're gonna do in the fall. Um, kind of in a nutshell, coming back, they just go through the year just basically. Um, during the winter, it's probably one of the times of the year where we lift pretty heavy coming off the season, getting guys back healthy. Um, we'll do that, then we'll go into basically an in-season mode with spring football. And a lot of the things that we do similarly when we're playing in the fall, we do it in the spring. Um, then we'll come back around in the summer and then that's when we get our main testing numbers. Um, and we'll lift pretty heavy. The emphasis are, is basically on conditioning, making sure our guys are prepared for fall camp, and also making sure our guys are strong enough to take, to, to take the rigors of going through a camp and also going through a football season. Then once that's over again, coming to this fall, fall camp, kind of back things off a little bit, make sure guys are able to get through camp, but kind of a maintenance program, not going as heavy, but making sure we're hitting all the areas that possibly could be injured, that we don't want injured, making sure those areas are strong and have good integrity going into our uh, fall program, which, which will break the team up into three main groups. We'll have a travel squad lift, we'll have a developmental lift, and we'll have a red shirt lift. Our travel squad lift, they'll lift twice a week, and that's mainly our one and two deep guys. Our developmental lift are guys that um, kind of our third teamers won't play as much, but we'll get some time basically on special teams. Um, and a lot of our true freshmen that will be taking snaps and will be helping us out in our developmental group, they'll live three times a week. And then our red shirts are guys that won't take any snaps, that are a little bit behind physically, and that's why they're not playing. We'll take those guys through four times a week. And their program is more geared towards like a summer or a winter program. It's a little bit heavier because they need to catch up and they need that because they're young. So when they come back around during spring ball, once they go through another winter, they'll be caught up and they'll be able to compete for a position. Back up some, Mick, off the platform. There you go, give him room. Keep him close to Pringle. Go ahead and get your last set of curls. Let's go, sit down in there. Let's go, turn around and spot him up. You just have to make sure that you're up and current on everything that's going on. This, this profession has evolved a lot. Um, it's no longer just come in and just lift. You know, you got to think about flexibility. You got to think about, uh, you got to make sure they're strong. You got to make sure that they're eating right. Make sure they're getting, a, getting enough sleep. Um, make sure they're doing all the things they can be successful. It's not about just coming in and lifting. So I try to make sure that our program is well-rounded and, and have all of those variables to make sure that our guys are getting the best that they can, uh, the best that we, that we can put out so they can perform out on the football field. It's, it, it, it's tremendously different than what it was when I was playing and even before I was playing and it's going to continue to evolve and get better. It's, it's even going towards the realm of, you know, not so much on numbers, uh, not, not focusing so much on numbers, but focusing out on basically how guys perform. How does this work? How you, can they take this and carry it over to the field? Because I've played with guys that, you know, they could bench the house and squat the house, but they weren't very good football players. Um, but then you had some guys that couldn't, very, couldn't lift a lot, um, weren't very strong, but they were strong enough to play the game, but they were our best football players. So, you know, you got to have a happy medium there. You got to find it. Um, it, 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 is, it, is a, it is a science and an art. You have to find that middle ground and you have to do the best that you can with what you have to try to, to, try to you know, prepare your players the best way that you can.